Hi, this is Kelly, and I'll be reading Then the War from Carl Phillips Selected Poems, which are also called Then the War, uh, and it's this year's Common Reader, so um, you'll definitely want to pick up a copy and come to a convention in April if you'd like to meet from and hear from him in person. So here's the poem. They planted flowers because the house had many rooms and because they'd imagined a life in which cut flowers punctuate each room, as if each were a sentence, not just to be decorated, but to be given some discipline, what the most memorable sentences, like people, always slightly resist, spit of the land, rags of cloud rack, meanwhile, hawk's nest, winter's nest, stamina as a form of faith, little cove that life equals, what they meant, I think, by, what they called the soul, Twilight taking hold deep in the marshweed in the Pacassandra, where the wind can't reach. Then the war, then the field and the mounted police parading their proud looking horses across it. Then the next morning's fog, groundsmen barely visible inside it, shadow like, shade like, grooming the field to immaculateness. Then the curtains billowing out from the lightless room toward the sea. Then the one without hair stroked the one who had some. They closed their eyes. If gently, hard to say how gently. Then the war was nothing that still bewildered them, if it ever had. Thank you.